Uh, what, what's your view? What, what's your view of this uh, chalk demonstration here? As far as uh, protests or solidarity with people, free speech, it's fine. It depends on the message, and it depends on who you're supporting or protesting against. As all things matter, what your, what your intent is and who, you, and who it's directed toward. The problem is Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization, and it is a Jew-hating, Israel-hating, uh, anti-Semitic organization combined between the members of the Nation of Islam and uh, something called Dreamcatch, as well as... Um, uh, the Black Panthers, the, the residual Black Panthers, whatever's left over from them from the 60s. Yeah, but this is not a Black Lives Matter associated or affiliated uh, demonstration, a political uh, street theater. Uh, yes, it is. Everything says Black Lives Matter over here. Oh. And they're, they're supporting them over their rampaging through our neighborhoods and destroying our businesses and tour institutions. And as a result, this is caving. This is taking a knee to them. This is surrendering to them to come out here and not protest. Where are they protesting the outrage of, of Gentiles of any stripe, black, white, or purple, or green with polka dots, coming and, and, and saying, F the Jews, F Israel, free Palestine, and writing it on our synagogues? Who says that is a good opportunity for them? Where are these people yeah. in this neighborhood when when a Jew is killed in Israel or anywhere in the world and there's no justice for whatever t terrorist victim we are talking about to the tune of 3,000 over since Oslo started in Israel? You mean Where like, are these you people mean, then? You mean like uh, the... Uh, uh black supremacist attacks on Jews in Muncie and, and in, Jersey in New City. Jersey City and in Israel with the the, the, the Muslim uh, terrorism groups Hamas and and who knows what else out there this is this is there these people are never to be seen protesting that on the streets where were they on Jersey City coming out we're not going to take this outrage anymore chalking up freedom and justice for the Jews of Jersey City where were they where are they they're never to be seen. The progressivism, liberalism is their religion. Tikkun Olam is their calling card. They hide behind it. They think the Torah, that's all it talks about. And as a result, they're brainwashing their kids into thinking this is, this is worthy of them to come here and show caving out of fear to the blacks. They think the adults, the rabbis in their con congregations and the parents think this is going to save their neighborhoods and their synagogues from attack because they have now taken a knee and bowed down and prostrated themselves to Black Lives Matter. Well, I have news for you. You just showed your weakness. You're going to make it worse for yourselves. But it appears that they are uh, showing their uh, uh, social justice um, and, and morality and displaying uh, a sense of, uh, of, of high moral and, uh, and ethical values. Yeah, well, it is uh, ethical values uh, that this Black Lives Matter organization published on its website in 2016 that Israel is an apartheid state, death to Israel, um, anti-Semitism openly. They took it down since 2016. They're supporting a group that has said this and is open enemies of our people. So that's not a moral high ground. What this is? This isn't marching with uh, Martin Luther King for civil rights and justice for the black, for Black America. There was nothing wrong with that. But this is like prostrating yourself and caving, and collapsing before Farrakhan and before the the Black Panthers. This is this is absolutely an outrage. This is not the way. This is not what Jews should be doing, bending down to these people. We have to stand up with, where's our self-dignity? Where's our self-respect? You can't come into our neighborhoods and trash our synagogues and our schools and our businesses. And if you do, we're going to resist. The, the cowards came in on the Shabbos. They came in on Shavuos, the second day of Shavuos, the holiday. They knew there'd be no resistance and no fight back. Come uh, come tomorrow. Come on a weekday when we, when, when we can stand and defend ourselves, you cowards. Antifa and Black Lives Matter, they throw from behind the, the, the crowds into the police in their demonstrations all over the country in order to protect themselves from being harmed if the police decide to fight back. These are cowards. These are evil people. They're defending, uh, the Jews of this community are defending enemies of Israel, enemies of the Jewish people who would like to do to the Jewish people what happened in Nazi Germany. That's not morality as far as I'm concerned. That's immorality. Um, immorality. Uh -huh, but but how can they, how can uh, concerned Jewish Americans uh, show their um, uh, disapproval 
of uh, police overreach without being affiliated with a communist uh, uh, revolutionary uh, movement. How about taking an ad out in a newspaper saying, In indecent lives do not matter, decent lives matter, meaning black, white, or green, or polka dot. That's what you should say. You should say all lives matter. Indecent lives do not matter. Anyone who is, is a thug and a punk who comes out and riots and steals and loots is not someone we should be defending. And these weren't adjuncts, by the way, that were just taggers along and they got out of hand on a peaceful march. That is the lie that they're selling to the Jewish community of the liberal Jewish community of this of this of Los Angeles. That's not what happened in Pan Pacific Park as we were celebrating Shabbos and Shavuos last weekend. They were riling up the the, the whole place with F Third and 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 uh, Fairfax, Fairfax and F Beverly Hills and setting them up and and. and setting them loose afterward and then they get on stage and after speech after speech vilifying the communities and the businesses in the neighborhood of Pan Pacific Park then they say well we have nothing to do with it it's going to get out of hand we're shutting this down now no they're on the hook for this they're liable for this who is the, 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 the Black Lives Matter the whole organization the speakers who who incited this crowd to riot and violence. They're all, they should all foot the bill and they should all go to jail for what they incited. And they can't back off and say, well, the event's over now and whatever happens is not our responsibility. You can't put red meat in, down in front of a lion and not be responsible for the lion eating it. Uh -huh, but uh, Melina Abdullah, the head of Los Angeles Black Lives Matters, um, has she, is, is not, has not been quoted as saying uh, anything anti-Semitic, and uh, Black Lives Matter took their uh, uh, pro-BDS and uh, 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 Israel apartheid stuff off their website. Are, aren't they clean of it now? No, absolutely not. When she says F-3rd in Fairfax last weekend, she's not saying the pavement should be cursed. She's saying the people who live there should be cursed, and that's the Jewish community predominantly and primarily in that area. And everybody knows it was code for anti-Semitism. And she has said anti-Semitic things before. She's been in the news supporting a, a professor speaking out a few years back, supporting a professor who said that the Jews are overrepresented in the college campuses and in the professions based on our numbers in this country. So that's, uh, that's pure anti-Semitism also. She's said things before that she has been called on. Yeah. Ha have there been any messages uh, 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 scrawled here that uh, you uh, take exception to as uh, an, an Orthodox Jewish rabbi? Well, I haven't looked at every single message here. But I would say, uh, it says over there, Beverly Wood wants peace. That may be all want, fine and dandy that Beverly Wood wants peace, but you're not going to have any peace when you cower and bend your knee to these people. You're not going to have peace. The, the messages are fine. Obviously, if anyone is unjustly uh, killed or, or, or arrested, they should, they, they should have justice served for them. And it's not the point. The point is the messages are fine as, the, as far as that's concerned. It's the organization behind this message that they are kowtowing to, that they are bringing their children out to do their, their talking for them today to try and stave off being being a uh, pogromed as well in this side of town, like they were on la uh, our, our neighbors were on, on the other side of town last weekend. They're trying, this is purely out of fear. This is not out of justice in the sense of love and kindness for the black community. There's nothing wrong with decent black people. There's nothing d wrong with decent white cops. Obviously there are bad apples and bad seeds in every organization. That's not what's on the record here. This isn't indicative. They're also standing with defund the police if they're out here talking about Black Lives Matter should be held held in as, a, as a modicum of respect for their uh, for their inciting to riot and their protest movement. Uh -huh. they, they, that they should think that this is all right and therefore they're standing behind that. Are yeah. they in favor of defunding the police also? Is there a systemic or endemic um, bias in police departments against minorities, which would include Jews as well as blacks? I'm not an expert. I don't know all the details and all the statistics. There are white racists in police departments throughout the country. There are black 
anti-white and anti-Jewish racist cops in the police. Are we going to take out on them too now? This is, this is not the issue. The issue is who Black Lives Matters is. They are a racist, black supremacist, black Nazi organization. They hate white people, all white people. What did the innocent white people celebrating their Shabbos and their, and their Shavuos, what did they have to do with the kid? We don't support a white cop killing a black man. We don't support that. So why do you take it out on us? Why is it that when a white guy gets killed by a black guy, nothing happens? But when a black guy gets killed by a, a white cop or a white anything, there's a riot and every one of these thugs and punks thinks that they deserve a new television. As a as as a price of doing business around here for killing yeah. a black, what what's yeah. going on? What, what how is this just? Uh huh. But what role does the media play in setting the zeitgeist that the culture follows? Yeah, the media is obviously uh, responsible for hyping everything to the nth degree to to encourage the fan the flames. It's it's a, it used to be that they say if it bleeds it leads, and now you can say you see if it burns it earns. The more fires, the more coverage they'll give to it, and they know exactly how to play the media. These groups and they get uh, their message out loud and clear, and get everybody in the media and everybody reporting and everybody interviewed to bow down and scrape and and dust the ground with their clothing prostrate flat out to them as as a way of saying we're sorry that we are white privileged and we have it easier than you in in history that's not the way to get it done that's that's that that is not hopefully that is not going to hold the society is going to collapse to you that is a surefire way to get us riled up and get us to defend ourselves by any means necessary if it comes down to a war on the street streets, then you guys got it. If you come after us, we're going to defend our, our homes. Don't think these guys here today are representative of the Jewish backbone. They have no backbone. They're liberals. Liberals and progressives are prostrate to every, every movement that shows any power or any negativity toward Jews. They collapse in front of them. We don't. Our, and we're the majority, hopefully. What's the risk in empowering white progressives? who hold that uh, minorities of color should dictate how Jews are regarded. Yeah, the, the, this generation of up-and-coming youngsters and white, white professional progressives, they've gone insane. They're lunatics. They're complete sellouts. They've completely uh, uh, tossed in the hat just out of fear to, to, to give up any semblance, uh, a modicum of self-respect that they think that they're going to stand up for themselves. They are a threat and a danger to all of Americans, not just Jewish America, not just white America. They are a threat to the entire American civilization continuing to exist if people like this will keep growing in numbers. Like, like what? like these white progressives and these movements that have joined in with every minority group, except ours, except for the cause of Israel to, to defend itself and uh, the Jewish people in Orthodox uh, uh, settings to be able to be freely uh, able to uh, practice our religion and, and, and have rights also. They would, they're nowhere to be found when any Jews are attacked. They're never to be found, these white progressives, when, the, when Jersey City happened or Muncie happened. They're, they're, they're probably cheering in the, on the sidelines. From the uh -huh. sidelines. Uh -huh. How about uh, the presence of uh, a Nation of Islam or uh, uh, black Muslims in the BLM movement? What does that mean uh, for uh, white progressives and Jews in the progressive movement? That means all of them are becoming anti-Israel, anti-Jewish, anti-Semite, Semites, self if they're Jews and white progressives, they're self-loathing, self-hating Jews. And they have... Uh, surrendered. They have collapsed in front of the enemy. They have no will to fight anymore. And that's what these white American progressives are doing. All of them, Gentile or Jewish, they are collapsing before the enemy who wants to see them dead. They'll settle for them being on their knees now, but don't mark my words, don't think that's all they want. They want your homes. They want your wealth. They want your businesses. They want you dead. Because we're capitalistic? 
because we have oppressed them. And who, we, who? The Jews haven't. Yes, we have. In their minds, Black uh, Lives Matter, they and, the, and the, all these Muslim groups associated with them think that we are responsible for, for black slavery back in the day, in the 1600s and the 1700s, and it's not the truth. The truth is that all the Nation of Islam worshippers out there, all of them joining to become Islamic and Muslim, they're 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 supporting their they're supporting their uh, their 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 slave captors. Who historically, you go back and you see who worked with the Portuguese and the Sp Spanish, and later with the Netherlands and England to 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 buy and and uh, buy and sell blacks and 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 kidnap them off of the off of the uh, Ivory Coast and the uh, and the other parts of Africa where they were. It was Muslim. Pirates, Muslim, a uh, uh, Muslim slave traders, and they're joining their enemy. They've collapsed themselves. These Black Americans, they've collapsed in great numbers, especially the younger generation, to these Muslims, and they are all over their movement, all over there. They're going to be seen more and more as time goes on, moving to the forefront of this movement, and it's just a matter of time before, God forbid, we have Muslim rioting and Muslim terrorism, like we have Black uh, Lives Matter terrorism and Antifa and La Raza already in this uh, political season leading up to the election. We're going to have mu many, much more, I'm afraid, and it's not going to get any... It's not going to get any any easier, any quieter, any more peaceful. This is not going away because you guys scrawled on the sidewalk somewhere. This is just going to amp them up. They see weakness like a shark smells smells blood in the water. They're coming for us now because of events like you staged last Thursday, driving around in your car, honking your horns, painting Black Lives Matter on your on your on your windows and now having your kids come out here and and bow down and take a knee to to the black lives matter this is going to make it worse because you they see we have no resolve we have no dignity we have no respect for our history and for who we are no pride in it and it, this is going to get worse Marikana said and i quote rabbi Marikana, he should be listened to he said the jewish people the only thing that they have ever learned from their history is to absolutely learn nothing from it. This form of appeasement is exactly what, what, what Jews and Gentiles did around the world with Hitler in the 30s that led to the Holocaust. And God forbid that should be here, but this is the same path we are taking and have been taking for a low these many years leading up to these events. And it's only going to get worse if you guys continue continue to 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 uh, surrender and uh, wave a white flag and not call out in outrage when when your synagogues are vandalized and when the, they attempted to burn one down i bet you don't even know that i bet you don't even know they broke the window and threw a molotov cocktail inside one of those synagogues uh Beth Israel, I think it's called, on Beverly Boulevard uh, near Crescent Heights. And the rest of them, they, they didn't break the windows, but they, they did graffiti fine. That's bad enough. But as far as the one synagogue, they tried to burn it down. And as such, you guys don't know this, and you're still on your knees for them. And this is only going to get worse because of events like you had today. Uh-huh. Is it a question of what media people are exposed to, that if they're watching uh, the mainstream TV channels, it doesn't get contradicted by uh, by a Jewish press, uh, the, the uh, coverage of uh, these kinds of uh, incidents, or are are, are are people aware of this? Yeah, uh, the the Jewish media inside of the regular mainstream media is just as just as evil and just as uh, biased, left wing, apologizing. Saw the Jewish Journal uh, over Shabbos. One article, I shouldn't even dignify it with a description. One article, the guy was talking about how we're sweeping up the glass and cleaning up, but we know the difference between this kind of sweeping up the glass and crystal knock. It's not the same thing. They don't mean it. You're you're insane. You're you're, you're you've gone out of your mind. These people mean the exact same thing. Which they people? May, the the anti-Semites of today are the same as the Nazis of yesteryear, and they are exactly breaking windows because they hate the Jews and they're coming after us. They just don't have the power, and they're not white, so we give them a break. That's another thing Rabbi Merikahan always says. He says, you have to call an anti-Semite an anti-Semite, no matter what color his skin is. It doesn't matter. If he does anti-Semitic things, if he says Jew-hating things, if he... If he 
if he defaces and desecrates a synagogue, he's no different than the Nazis in Germany. Why should you give him a pass? He's no different than KKK or the uh, or, or the white supremacists. You have to call them out. Doesn't matter if they're black. They they have their poverty is no different than the poverty of the whites in the South that used to rise up through the ranks of the KKK or neo-Nazis or whatever. They're the same thing. They're the, they're the, why don't you give them the past and the, the excuse that, oh, they're, they're poverty, they're just acting out, they don't really mean it, they don't just, they really hate us. No, they really hate us. You were sweeping up glass that is a prelude maybe, God forbid, to another crystal knock when they go rampaging again and do far worse things than they did last Saturday and uh, Friday night and Saturday. So uh -huh. we, we can only expect more of this now that we have caved so much to them do you, and surrendered. Do you consider yourself uh, committed to justice? Yeah, absolutely, of course. Justice for everybody who is decent. Anyone who's an indecent person doesn't deserve any justice, except the justice that we deserve from him is protection from him, and he should be thrown in jail. This person was being arrested, George Floyd. He did something wrong. He had a, tra a track record, a, a record as long as my arm. But it doesn't mean... Doesn't he shouldn't have gotten killed, but that doesn't mean he's a decent human being. You should extol and hold up some martyr for the cause. He is was a criminal. And he's now, in his name... He's caused all this destruction of property and uh, harm to humanity all over the country. Uh -huh. So would you support the, the notion of, of justice for people who are victims of police abuse? If there are any, absolutely. When there are, absolutely. And it, so the notion of Black Lives Matter as a, as a concept but not an organization, w would you support them if they didn't have uh, a communist and a Marxist agenda? Yeah, I would support them if they didn't burn synagogues and, and break windows and steal and, and riot, I would support them even if they were uh, supposedly had Muslim connections, if they were not hateful of Israel, wanting to destroy Israel. And of course, uh, going along with that is to kill every Jew possible. They don't say it. They're not, going, they're not stupid, but they mean it. When they say apartheid state, they just want they just want to get at us. They're chomping at the bit, ready to go. They, they're all in. These blacks that hate us, not every black. Just these organizations that they have and the combinations and the, the, the names they give themselves, the spin-off groups, they're all the same thing. They're one big organization, up and coming young people who want to hurt whites and Jews. Are they motivated by hurting whites and Jews? They're motivated by hatred. They think they're justified in their hatred because of oppression, etc. But it's far beyond that. It's just jealous rage at this point. And it's just uh, excuses that they give themselves. There are plenty of, of black Americans for all these years since, the, uh, let's say, the end of the Civil War who have worked hard and bettered themselves and taken care of their families and raised good families and, and productive citizens and patriots and loyal Americans and loyal people for the cause of justice and who marched with, for civil rights with Martin Luther King, etc. without the violence and without the hatred. There's plenty of blacks like that. This is not a black organization worthy of your dollars, worthy of your support, or worthy of your caving to them and supinely bowing to them. They are the enemies of the Jewish people and of all Americans, decent Americans, white, black, green, yellow, purple. They are enemies of, they just want anarchy, they just want violence, and they want to empower themselves through it, by it. Power? They want to empower they want themselves? Power. They Political want power. power? Political power. That's their goal. If you don't think they want to take over this country, you've got another thing coming. Is this part of the movement to uh, replace the uh, uh, Republican administration with a progressive this left is administration? A this is a movement. This is a movement to take America over by revolution. This is an insurrection. And they're going to go for it now before the election. I don't know how far they're prepared to go, but it seems they're prepared. This is this is four months, six months out before the election. They're prepared to go a long way if this is what they've already done. And it's just a couple of weeks into this uh, this this campaign of theirs. They hate 
everyone. They want to destroy and make bow down to them, everyone. That's their goal. They want to replace all of Congress with their guys. They don't want a Democratic Party either. They're just using the Democratic Party to take it over. The far left wing, whatever you want to call them, the, the squad, right? The, 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 those, those, those Congress people, those Congress women, the four women of the House apocalypse, Four housewomen of the apocalypse, I call them. That's the face of the Democratic Party. That's what they want to see. They want to see only that, no opposition. And every time white progressives or Jews take a knee or kiss up to them or apologize, rabbis in this community gave letters already got all over the country apologizing like they did the killing of the white and excusing themselves and we want to see better. None of them called for any kind of justice for Jewish businesses, Jewish synagogues and schools that were trashed by these people, rampaging hordes of, of monsters marching up and down our streets. None of them decried it. None of them deplored it. They're cowering behind their, their desks and under their beds. And that's the sad, that's the tragedy. That's the sadness here. It's a sick situation. We can't even get our leaders, Orthodox rabbis, Talmudi Chachamim, to stand up for themselves and their community and say, this is unacceptable and we're not gonna take it. There is no excuse for them taking a powder like this. There's no excuse for them absenting themselves from the fray and just apologizing and pretending like nothing happened to them. Just a shot still, maybe it'll all go away. I call it ostrich Judaism. They bury their heads in the sand and hope they'll be left alone. I'm sorry, you're not gonna be left alone. It's just gonna get worse because of your weakness. Just like in Israel, against all the terrorism, the more we cowered behind our, our, our government and we refuse to stand up for ourselves and they let it go on. The government have showed that they're in the army, IDF, were completely powerless to stop rampaging, rampaging hordes of, of, of Palestinian Muslim uh, insurrectionists and they didn't do anything to quell their, their rebellion. So they're taking a page out of there and they're planning to do that here. Mark my words, that kind of terrorism is coming here, God forbid, because you're too weak to stand up against it. You're too afraid. Fear is the overriding factor here and that is only going to give them encouragement and incentive to keep going. They're winning. Plainly and simply, they are winning by all of this. What's, what's the price of them winning to us? The what's, price what, of, what's the price to us of them winning? Price of us winning. The price, is, to, price to us of them winning. If they win, what happens to us? We all go down. Judaism disappears. In popularity? We're going to, no, we're going to have to, well, we should leave here anyway and go back to Israel, but that's not the point. The point is we're all going to have to run for our lives. If they come to power, they're going to come after the Jews first. The white America also, but the Jews first. They hate us more than they hate white America. They hate Israel. They stand with the Palestinians. They stand with all of our enemies. And therefore, if they come to power, we're going down first. God forbid. Would that occur even with a Biden election win? Yeah, if a Biden wins, that's a great leap like it would have been if Hillary won. It's a great leap forward in their progressive agenda to take over the whole country. Yes, they will have the money and backing and political uh, permission from high above them to continue this because they have nothing but appeasers and placators in these city blue states, Democrat mayors and Democrat governors and Biden in the White House. It'll be open season on all of us for four years. Maybe eight. Yeah, maybe eight. But wouldn't the level headed Democrats in the party uh, defend us? No. They are, have, they are increasingly shouted down in their caucuses. They're increasingly made to take a, a stronger line to the left. The more that uh, Trump has success, the more that the moderate Democrats either, either have to lean right to placate their constituents or they flee into these uh, four housewomen of the apocalypse camp and they let them lead and they let them be out front with the face of what the Democratic Party has become. It's not a home for the Jewish people, it's certainly not a home for pro-Israel anymore. You have to get out, you have to see, wake up and smell the crematoria, God forbid coming back, stoking back to life. These people intend our harm. They intend to end us and finish 
They say it all the time. We want to finish what Hitler began. They write it on the walls and they write it in the Middle East and they're going to write it here. They have said it here. Who, I, who, who writes it? All these hate groups. Muslim hate groups, black hate groups, they always say we, Hitler should have finished the job. I've heard it. How about, I've heard it. How about the progressive white left? Yeah, well, when I hear it, I'll let you know. But I'm sure they're in that camp. I'm sure they're already, if not totally, they're all, well on their way. Well on their way. They wouldn't be collapsing this much to the pressure or the oppression that, that they, they, they perceive, they feel, the fear they fear from these groups. So they wouldn't have caved this way if they're not willing to go all the way in, and change and make their political ideology to hate Israel and hate Jews. I'm sure they're on their way to it. We worried all the time from the right, the KKK, the white supremacists and the neo-Nazis. Now it's the fascist left that we have to worry about. They're the ones that are the severe threat to the Jewish people in this country in the next 20, 30 years. They're the face of the threat. So I'm Moshe Perry, rabbi, in this, uh, rabbi at large in this community, and I'm not gonna sit here and watch my people do things that are self-destructive and brainwash their kids that will have to face We'll, we'll, we'll go one day. They're going to have to face the, and be subjected to the consequences of what you're teaching your kids in your schools, in your shuls, and in your homes uh, to placate enemies and appease them. It's, it, you're, gonna, you're consigning your children and grandchildren to a rocky, rocky road, God forbid. I don't wish it on you. I'm just calling like it is, knowing Jewish history only too well. We've seen this before. This is how it starts. This is how a Nazi Germany starts. And it starts with de defamation and it ends with Jewish deaths.